Hello everybody! I am Stuntworm! And this is just Car Rob! <laughs> Bye! Hi guys, welcome back to Just Car Rob. And we are going to be working on one of my favorite guys. Favorite guys, we're going to be working on the old sea captain. I think I might have his head way too big <laughs> for the block of wood we're working on. So, this is subject to change. Disclaimer. All right. So. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Bigfoot? Where's Bigfoot? Bigfoot has been slightly painted. Not quite that much. Zoom out. Bigfoot has been slightly painted with a light brown color. He will be painted with more colors. But we're going to work on this guy. Back in the drawer with you, Bigfoot. Oh! Shut up, Bigfoot. Oh! The one here, Bigfoot. Okay, so I don't know what kind of wood this is. Can't tell you. It was in a box of goodies I got from Pete Blair. And it's more of that uh, perfume type smelling wood. Perfumey, perfumey type wood. It smells really good. I'm thinking of some kind of fear. I don't know. Okay, but, and it's not square either, guys. This thing is so far, look at that. So far from square, it's unbelievable. But it is, uh, five and a half inches long. On this side, it is an inch and three quarters. On this side, it's an inch and a half. And on this side, uh, can't see my line on this side. I still can't see. What the heck is going on here? Uh, inch and seven eighths. So square is not square. You can tell by it. Look, it's not, it's got it's like woo goes way that way. All right. So oh, where to start? I think we'll start with his hat. Okay, we put our center lines in as <laughs> as good as you can put center lines in an unsquare piece of wood. All right, boy oh boy. All right, <clears throat> I'd have a little drink of green tea. Green tea. So where do we start with this guy? We can always start, we can always leave this big and work our way down. Because his body, well, I guess that'd be alright. His legs will be really short, though. Look at that, I don't know. I just kind of roughed this on here. I was messing around. Messing around. Messing around. Oh, boy, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look how nice that cut. Oh, we got splinter! Ow! Splinters. Ow! No splinter! Doggone it! Stop sticking yourself, Rob. I like it, I like it. I don't like it. I'm lying. I don't like it. There you go. Watch your fingers, guys. Watch your fingers. Man, it is hot. Hot, hot, hot. How hot is it? It's so hot. 
I had a fat catfish come up from the pond and ask me for a drink of ice water. Ooh, terrible joke. Ooh. Be quiet, Bigfoot. Don't want to hear you. Ooh. Okay, so I guess uh, I made. <laughs> guess I made my decision where I'm starting. It's up here with the hat, I guess. So you can kind of, kind of guess what's going on here, right? We're ripping off big old chunks of wood. Probably didn't need to leave this top that long. Probably could use a shorter knife. Got a lot of them probably going on here, don't we? Now, I don't think we're going to try taking anything off the sides. We just kind of want to let roll up into that hat. Look at it, we got a big old chunk taken out there. It's not cool. So we're just gonna have to guesstimate. This will be the top and this will be the brim here. See the brim comes right down this way here. Like that. We're angling it back. Same way on this side. We're angling that brim of the hat back. Oh, that's not good. Sometimes let's see what's happening with that nice slice that's through there. It's lifting that green. That's okay. A lot of that's got to get rounded over anyway. All right. A lot of that's going to get rounded over anyway. And no, I am not on pain medication. Although, I wish I was. Okay. We're just kind of marking the, everything's place here. Because this wood is so messed up. It's okay to leave it bigger, guys. You can always come back and uh, bring it down. Yeah, I was talking with Jordy. Jordy Johnson over there at Cars and Fusion. You guys know him, don't you? Um, he told me to go check out this guy called the Craftsman. Ooh, I'm the craftsman. And I am your host. <laughs> Guys far out. Guys, go check him out, the craftsman. Craftsman. Craftsman, craftsman, the craftsman. Um yeah. Way the guy the dude is way different, I can tell you that. I'm the craftsman, and I'm your host. Does a lot of, uh, a little bit of everything over there. 
a lot of casting uh, stuff. So if you want to get interested in the casting or sculpting, uh, go over and check out the craftsman. Definitely a different type of guy. Oh, we took a took the chip right out of the hat. It's all right. It'll be all right. It's all right. Shouldn't have uh, placed that far. But we got a lot. We got a lot of hat to take off anyway. This guy just rounded over, rounded over, rounded over, rounded over. So. Fiddle faddle, whittle, whittle, whittle. Making chips. Making chips, making chips. Okay, so at this point in our adventure, um, I think I'm going to either use the micro carver or the Dremel with the with an extreme bit in it. Okay. Um, so that means you guys get to listen to me sound funny on a voiceover. Don't laugh too hard. Remember, any time a pry bar could slip and hit you in the face and knock your teeth out. Anyway, you guys will get the fun of making fun, listening to me being funny on a voiceover. All right, so let's get this crap fired up and uh, make some noise. Okay, guys, here we go. We're uh, working the hat around with a Dremel. We're using our Dremel with a coarse bit, extra coarse bit, extreme coarse bit, being extreme, extremely extreme. Um, we're going to have to work his hat. Uh, the, I like using these, uh, course, bit, these extreme course bits for, uh, removing a lot of bulk wood and they work really well for that. Um, we're going two times the speed here. I was hoping to get all this shot, this guy done in one video, but, uh, the video would end up being probably a little over an hour long make sure that you put all your center lines in guys um, now for a hat you may want to adjust the angle of your center line uh, to where the center of your hat is going to be not where the center of the wood is uh, right now we are cutting this back the front back back so that the hat leans back and then we will cut the back of the hat back so that it looks you know you don't want the front of the hat leaning back and the back of the hat going straight up so that means that you have to take a lot more off the bottom of the back and the top of the front to get that lean right and it it takes a while to get the to uh, get it right and you can see me working it with the that extreme bit and woo there we go stay stay oh, I hate it when I put can't get my hose to stay where I want it to um, anyway been watching a YouTuber named The Craftsman. Craftsman. And he likes to do, uh, he does a lot of, actually makes toys. And he's got his own toy that he made. It's called the Free Range Chicken. It's hilarious. Uh, reminds me a lot of, uh, if any of you guys remember Ren and Stimpy. With the big eyeballs. It reminds me a lot of something that would come out of that type of cartoon. Um, but it's his own design. And he makes them and I think he sells them. Uh, if you get, get time, go over and check out 
the craftsmen, craftsmen, I can't say it with no teeth, craftsmen, uh, he does a lot of stuff, does some uh, silver, silver soldering and uh, casting, goes over different types of casting plastics uh, that there is and a lot of good information, different types of clays, different types of epoxies. If you're into that thing, go check that type of thing, go check them out. At one time, uh, before I started carving, I was thinking about doing the sculpting thing, and um, I found Jordy's channel and did some carving, and I liked it. I went back to it after years of not doing it. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't. I don't think. I think sculpting is a lot easier than carving. Um, I don't know. You know, that's just me, though. Okay, we're changing over to the microcarver, and we're using a coarse bit. Not extreme, just coarse. Microcarvers, at least this one, and I think Jordy would agree that microcarvers do not like extreme bits. They uh, just overpower the motor. Uh, the coarse bit works you can still get it tied up where it doesn't want to, you know, it'll it'll stall it. But um, as long as you take your time, the quartz bits seem to work a lot better than the extreme bits in this particular case. Okay. And at this point of the game, it's all about getting rid of all that extra wood. And we're just going to keep on working on this hat. And we'll be switching back and forth between between different bits. This uh, coarse bit and all that good stuff. And of course, we'll be using our carving knives. Uh, a lot, ton of work to do on this thing yet. We were hoping to squeeze all this into one video, but at, uh, it would probably take like over an hour. So this video is at 22 minutes, which is probably too long. But if you need something to sleep by, this could be your video. Yep. If you guys haven't checked out Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers on Facebook, you're missing out. A lot of awesome carvers on there. They they just hit over a thousand subscribers on uh, that Facebook channel. So yeah, and don't forget Jordy Johnson, uh, Carving Fusion, has started a new channel. Um, let art find you. He's doing a lot of, uh, he's playing with the uh, epoxy and that kind of stuff. Still doing wood spirits, though. <laughs> so, yep. Uh, got uh, Phil Gropp. What happened to Phil Gropp? I haven't seen him around in a while. Must, I think Phil's into the, he likes doing the hiking and stuff like that. And Canada's got some beautiful woods to do that in. Uh, got Glenn up there in Canada. A lot of talented people. Got Cleve's backyard woodworking. Got... Been at Studio Lake making face plates for his electrical outlets. A lot of work for an electrical outlet, Glenn, or uh, not Glenn, Ben. I've been working on my truck, have 
had problems, had to take the take the bed off the truck to get to the fuel tank to change the fuel pump and blah 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 yada 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 who cares just cars Rob alright back to the extreme burr cutting this thing down man it's been hot hot it's like 90 degrees today with 70% humidity it's terrible Yep. Oh, good day to sit in the air conditioning. That's why I decided to run out to the shut down the car shop and open up the wood shop, carving shop. Carve this little uh, sea captain here, like the Gordon's fisherman captain guy on the box. Remember to keep your uh, keep checking your sides, guys. Make sure you're not taking more off one side than the other. That's what I just did there. We don't want to end up having a balloon at the top or be you know too small at the bottom. Getting up underneath that hat, we're doing a little shaping on the hat. Uh, the part of the hat where your head goes in, I don't know what it's called. The cap. Your skull cap, I guess. I don't know. Um, we have, we're going to push that quite a ways back yet. And we still got to angle it back some more. So, I think we're winding out to the end here, guys. So, share, subscribe, and like. And we will catch you on the next one. All right? All right. Be awesome. Carve something awesome. Carve every day if you can. And be good to each other, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. All right? All right. Bye-bye.